Hello future doctors, this is Ujjal Ganti Roy, medical mentor, founder and director of the Engineers Gurukul. Today I am going to start with a new video on a new topic called the excretory system. In NCRD the same topic is called as excretory products and their elimination. So if you compare all the topics of human physiology, the excretory system normally for major to the students, normally they feel it tough. So here am I to help you make this chapter very much easier for you to understand. I have broken this whole topic into nine lectures. So today I'm going to start with the first lecture, which is the basics of excretory system. So let us start with this topic, basics of excretory system. Keep your copy in front of you. Abna copy apne samne rakho and start noting. Okay. So let us start with the topic. The topic is about excretory system. What is the meaning of the term excretion? Let us begin with this. Excretion matlab kya hai? What is the meaning of the term excretion? See, excretion means Majority of you again to start again with the excretion. Majority of students, you have got a doubt between excretion and ejection. Maximum student ke liye ye dono term to same hote hai. Bahu ye dono term same nahi hai. Kya hai? Excretion mein kya hai? It is the removal of metabolic wastes. Metabolic waste. Kab metabolic waste hoga? Whenever a cell starts working. Whenever there is a catabolism. When the star cell starts working, it starts making nitrogenous wastes. So, the removal of metabolic waste like nitrogenous wastes, organic wastes and inorganic salts, carbon dioxide and water from our body. So, the removal of all these together makes excretion. So, what is excretion? A removal of nitrogenous waste materials through urine skin lungs that means self urine se nahi skin se bhi excretory product nikal aate hain lungs bhi ek excretory organ hai fine so these are excretions so when we talk about ejection ejection matlab kya hai dekho neat mein ye digestive system to omit ho gaya ye chapter nahi hai so wahan pe the last step of the digestion what is the first step of digestion Digestion ka first step kya tha? Ya nutrition ka first step kya tha? Aap jante ho, wo ingestion hai. The second step is digestion. Third step, absorption. Assimilation. And the last step, fifth step is ejection. Ejection matlab kya hai? Removal of undigested food products. That is feces from anus. Anus se ye feces nikal dene ke process ko kya kehte hai? Ejection. Or ejection mein nitrogenous waste se jada undigested food product nikal jana hai so this is the major difference between excretion and ejection so humare excretion mein hum kaun sa padhenge human excretory system jahan pe hum mainly padhenge about kidney which helps in the formation of urine so we will talk about that what are the main nitrogenous wastes main nitrogenous waste products kya kya hai the main nitrogenous wastes are number one is ammonia number two is urea and number three is uric acid. I am going to tell you that this is the first page of the first page. It's there in the first page of NCRD. Just have your book open in front of you and keep the copy. Start noting the topics. See, ammonia, it is highly toxic. And as because they are highly toxic, also they are highly water soluble. So it requires immediate elimination. Because toxic jana hai, so it requires immediate elimination from the body. To body mein jana dinta ka agar ye reh gaya, to dusre organ ko wo damage kar sakta hai. It can damage the cells of other organs. Now, kya kehte hai? Jo organism ammonia release karte hai. The organisms which releases ammonia, we call them as ammonotelic organisms. And their examples is very very important as far as need is concerned. Neat mein ye example se question kya jata hai. Aur wo kya hai? They are aquatic invertebrates. Jo invertebrate paani ke andar rehte hai. 
the fresh water bony fish that means bony fish ka aur ek term kya hai what is the other term for bony fish comment me in the comment section what is the class called super class pisces they have got two sub class super class pisces is divided into two classes what is that class wo aap comment mein aap comment karo bony fish is whose class ka naam kya hai okay now and amphibian larva so they are present in amphibian larva also not in amphibian adults amphibian larva so ye jo term diya gaya hai na larva ab dekho maximum students confuse ho jayenge larva aur adult ko sochenge dono mein same hoga but same nahi hai so ammonia present in larva of amphibians they are released from the larva of amphibians but when we think about talk about urea so urea if you compare it with ammonia they are less toxic than ammonia but highly soluble in water highly soluble in water and their synthesis synthesis of urea occurs by ornithine cycle this go or ek word mein kya kaha jata hai this is another term for that it is also called as urea cycle ornithine cycle ko kaha jata hai urea cycle now this urea cycle takes place where in which part of human body in the organ called liver liver mein hota hai urea cycle or ornithine cycle so this process se urea banta hai and it was secreted hota hai through kidney in the form of urine now see the organisms having uh, which releases urea as their nitrogenous waste we call them ureotelic organisms ureotelic organisms and the examples are cartilaginous fish dekho yahi pe division ho gaya yahi pe division ho gaya fine kya division yahan pe kya tha bony fish tha ammonia released by bony fish but in urea released by cartilaginous fish what is the other term what is the class where the cartilaginous fish belongs to comment me in the comment section comment me in the comment section students the class where the cartilaginous fish belongs to acha they are also present in adult amphibian dekho yahi main aapko bol raha tha larva mein larva of amphibians they they release ammonia but adult amphibians they release urea and all mammals so we come under mammals so all mammals also be secreted out what urea let us talk about the last one what is called uric acid when we talk about uric acid see it's the least toxic agar compare kiya jaye ye teenon mein se sabse least toxic kaun hai wo hai uric acid aur ye uric acid see the least toxic and they are insoluble in water insoluble in water iska bahut importance hai as because they are insoluble in water those organisms which secretes uric acid as the nitrogenous waste they are mainly present in in harsh conditions jahan pe pani bahut kam hai so normally in desert animals you can have this is an adaptation of a desert adaptation jahan pe the organisms are going to secret very less amount of water because wahan pani bahut kam hai pani ki intake bhi kam hota hai unka to wo jo nitrogenous waste release hoga that will be without water or at least least amount of water so in soluble in water and it is an adaptation to conserve water dekho desert animals mein ye ek adaptation ki tarah kaam karta hai to conserve water so definitely the organisms releasing out uric acid uh, uric acid is called uricotelic organisms and the examples are reptiles birds and insects reptiles and birds ye to aap jante ho insects also secrete out uric acid so that is very very important so we have talked about in this page we have talked about the main nitrogenous waste and also we have covered the first page of ncrd of our book fine and then comes the term called osmoregulation osmoregulation what is osmoregulation kidney ke bare mein baat karenge ya excretory system ke bare mein baat karenge aur osmoregulation term use nahi kiya jayega to ye bahut problem hoga baba so ye kya hai osmoregulation kya hai to maintain the osmotic balance of the body osmotic balance mein sabse important balance kiska hai salt concentration ka balance solute concentration ka balance aur kiske sath balance maintain karna with body with water and also with salt so body mein pani aur solute ka ek concentration maintain karna ye osmotic kehte hain so maintenance of concentration of water and salts in the body 
is called osmoregulation which is also the function of kidney function of kidney so in kidney we are going to also talk about a very very important topic called counter current exchange or counter current mechanism जहां पे हम ये ऑस्पो रिलेशन के बारे में बात करेंगे सो दट ऑल अबाउट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक द बेसिक्स ऑफ एक्सक्यूटिव सिस्टम वेयर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द डायटनस वेस्ट विच नॉर्मली डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म सिक्रिट आउट एंड ऑल्सो लेट मी टेल यू टू हेल्प यू स्टेट यून द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ एक्सक्यूटरी ऑर्गन सो स्टेट यून स्टे लर्निंग and overall start solving mcqs